I just thought I'd record a typical workspace here on TradingView with a um, four time frames. We're on the NQ. Um, top left is one minute. Top right is two minutes. Bottom left is five. And over on the right hand side, we're on the 20 minutes. And I've got all the indicators on here. So as you can see, we've got the volatility indicator here, which is the one with the purple arrows, top and bottom. Um, I've done a separate video on that. We've got the trends on here to help us with identifying when the trend is, is transitioning or reversing. I've got the trend monitor here, which works in association with the trends. And I've done a separate video on that as well, which really helps to, to keep you in a trend once it's underway. And we've got the tick volume indicator down here at the bottom which we always have on all the charts because we use volume price analysis, which is our core methodology. And as you can see here, the from a scalping perspective, we've had a lot of volatility, a lot of retracement within the spread of those candles. The trend monitor has helped, um, you know, if you're a scalping trader, it still remained blue. Now we're starting to move into bearish trend. We've gone from the bright blue into the darker red and we've come out the other side into bright red. On that occasion, we didn't go dark blue. We skipped that particular transitional color and we've come straight through to the other side. In terms of the trend dots though, they've already reverted up here. You can start to see they've gone gray up here before the trend monitor really starts to, to kick in and say, well, yeah, hang on a minute. I think the, the bullish trend that was in place for a short time is now reversing. Then we're into red here in the trend dots. The trend dots move above. They move above here. We're starting to push down on the price action. And the trend monitor is just confirming all of that, that we have now transitioned from what was a snap bullish move higher into a transitional color out the other side into bright red. And we're starting to push lower. Over on the two minutes, similar sort of picture. Lots of volatility. Big snap move here. Everyone jumping in on that one, expecting the price action to, to continue higher. It hasn't. It's stopped. It's reversed. There's one of two things you expect to happen with the volatility indicator. If you've watched that video, you're either expecting it to go into congestion phase, which is painful emotionally because it creates uncertainty and doubt in your mind. Or alternatively, you get what we're seeing right now, which is a complete reversal in the bullish price spread. And what you're also seeing in terms of the trend monitor, and it's this is one of the classic ways to use uh, all the indicators in multiple time frames. What you're seeing on your fastest time frame, in other words, the one minute here, we transition through to red. You're now starting to see that take effect over on the two minute, where we've gone out from the bright blue, which is the bullish, we're into a dark red, signaling a transition through into a bearish, potentially bearish phase of price action. Now, if we step down onto the, the five minute here, Obviously, in terms of the trend monitor, we haven't seen any effect yet. We've still got the extreme volatility triggers here. So, you know, we're expecting a reversal, which is what we're getting. We've got a ton of volume coming under here. As I say, the trend monitor has yet to transition. The trend dots are just starting to roll over. They roll to the top side, so they will start to change color pretty quickly too in the next couple of bars, I would imagine. And the key one over here is on the 20-minute. Ton of volume come in big volatility candle and if you're up on the one minute here or the two minute over here or even on the five minute and you're wondering why the price action is now uh, reversing or at least has been congesting and is now reversing that is the reason why because as i've said many times on these videos time is trumps everything the slowest time frame on your workspace will dictate what happens in terms of the importance, the significance of that particular piece of price action. So in terms of the 20 minute, this is extremely significant. And if you're up on the scalping timeframes, that is telling you expect congestion, possibly a reversal, but at the very least expect some congestion to follow because this 20 minute time frame is going to carry an awful lot more weight than the five minute, the two minute, or indeed the one minute. So I just wanted to, to uh, record that quick video for you just to show you a typical workspace, all the indicators on there, all working in, in conjunction with one another. And as I say, this is on the NASDAQ 100, the uh, E-mini futures contract. Hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come. So thanks for watching. See you again soon and bye for now.